Dang, it's pretty windy out here. This is my Poco F3 camera. T what? <laughs> Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again, and don't worry, the phones are fine, but this is my Poco F3 camera test featuring the Poco X3 Pro and the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And this was the shot right before they fell, but let's get into these phones now. Starting with the Poco F3, we have a 48 megapixel main camera, IMX582, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel telemacro camera. And then we have the Poco X3 Pro, which has the same main camera as the Poco F3, including an 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro, and depth sensors. And rounding it out, we have the Redmi Note 10 Pro with that 108 megapixel flagship camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide, a 5 megapixel telemacro, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. With 20, 20, and 16 front cameras and 1080p 60 video on the Poco F3, 1080 30 on the others. Let's not waste any time, have a look at these samples, and we'll talk about them when we get back. This is rear-facing video on the Poco F3, the Poco X3 Pro, and the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And clearly you can see stabilization on the Poco devices, but not on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Despite that though, very nice video on all phones. And hit me up in the comments, what do you think? And this is front-facing video on the Poco F3, the Poco X3 Pro, and the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Shooting in full HD on all these phones, but the Poco F3 is capable of full HD 60 FPS. Beautiful day here in Hong Kong. And rushing to complete these videos in time for all of you. But listen to the mics, hear how they sound, and hit me up in the comments, what do you think? So what'd you guys think? Did the Poco F3 take the win? Was it the X3 Pro? Or did the Redmi Note 10 Pro prevail with its flagship 108 megapixel camera? Starting in last place, the Poco X3 Pro 
did deliver some decent shots in the day, but at nighttime, it definitely suffered. And that rear video issue is also a challenge. Now look at this image here, and you could say definitely the X3 Pro is the best of these three. Meanwhile, the Poco F3 definitely hung in there, delivering some decent shots both day and night. And I give this phone the award for rear video. It still has the best, most stabilized, and best sounding mics of the bunch. But if I have to give it to one phone on just detail and sheer quality of shots, it's going to the Redmi Note 10 Pro. This phone still delivers and that 108 megapixel camera makes a huge difference. But hit me up in the comments, which one do you think won this quick camera comparison? And stay tuned, of course, guys, for more great content coming on these phones. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech, signing off. Have a good one.